Hey guys, this is Sam. Today I want to talk about the possibility of a 7th generation iPod Touch. I made a video a while back on the iPod Touch 6th generation that is now almost two years old since Apple has even referenced or mentioned the iPod Touch lineup. It just seems like they're starting to lose touch with a product that built their company. The iPod was the start of everything, and it's really frustrating for me to see them push it off their website, take the iPod tab off the top, and make you search for the iPod Touch just to find it. It's like they don't even care that they made this great product anymore, they only care about the iPhone. I think the reason it really hits home for me is because when I was a kid, the iPod Touch was my first ever mobile Apple product. It was the first time I ever could touch a screen and swipe and update and use iOS. And ever since then, obviously a little bit of it stuck with me because I keep making videos about iOS. There's just something that always fascinated me about the platform that I wanted to keep getting involved with, that I wanted to engage with and play with and eventually hopefully make a career out of it. The iPod Touch has always held a special place in my heart just because it was that first interaction with iOS, that first mobile product. And I got the iPod Touch second generation and I can't honestly remember if the iPhone was out then, but I remember when that third generation came out, the iPhone was definitely a thing. And I really wanted the iPhone. It was the coolest thing ever. I mean, it was before the iPhone was popular. It was just one of those things where the super rich people had it. So I always really wanted to get one just because I loved my iPod and I knew it was only better on the iPhone. But the problem is when you're a young kid, you don't have a lot of income. So you can't pay for a monthly cell phone bill in addition to paying for a five or six or $700 phone. I couldn't even imagine trying to buy an iPhone 7 as a kid in 2017, just because I never ever had that much money. And yes, the iPod Touch 6th generation, which you can buy right now on apple.com is affordable, it's pretty cheap, but the specs are two years outdated and nobody wants to buy a two year old product. I know I wouldn't want to, might be a little biased on that, but even if you're a kid, you're gonna want the latest and greatest. You're gonna want that iPhone 7, the new 10.5 inch iPad Pro, whatever is the newest on the market. And Apple just seems to be slowly inching away from that affordability. I mean, yes, the iPod Touch is there for people who want it, but there's not a new one. And there's also been no rumors of a new one or leaks of a new one. I don't even know if Apple has a team dedicated to iPods anymore, other than one guy in the back that just like photoshops new features there and then sends it to the engineers and maybe something happens. They just don't seem to care anymore. I totally get that the iPod is no longer a vital part of Apple's roadmap. They don't need that brand anymore to keep making millions and billions of dollars each day and every year. That's not that important. They need the iPhones and the iPads and the Macs. And maybe the HomePod, but I doubt that thing's gonna take off. But AirPods, I think, are gonna explode as well. But they need those products. They don't need iPods anymore. So business-wise, yeah, it really doesn't make sense to keep updating the iPod Touch. But people-wise, I think a lot of people are interested. Back when I had like no subs, I made an unboxing of the iPod Touch 6th generation. 2015, July 16th-ish, sometime around there. And I made a video and it got 150,000 views of an iPod Touch unboxing. People are interested in the iPod, and I feel like every time there's iPod Touch news, people get really excited. Because if you want a second Apple product or a second mobile device that doesn't have a cell phone plan and doesn't cost a lot, the iPod Touch is perfect. The problem right now is that the current one is outdated and it has not been touched in over two years. If any engineers at Apple are watching this video, you're welcome to just push the iPhone 8 down the road a little bit, give us a new iPod Touch to hold us over. I know I'd be down, I think a lot of other tech YouTubers would be very interested by this move as well, but there's also the possibility that we're never gonna see another iPod Touch again. Like I said, there's been no news. There's no indication that Apple's even working on the lineup anymore, and I'd be super hyped if they were. I think a lot of people would be super hyped if they were, Problem is, I just don't think that that's the case. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this. Are you a big fan of the iPod Touch or do you even care about that product anymore now that you own an iPhone or an iPad? It's definitely not something that like in my tech life right now would be vital, but for people starting out with Apple, I think it's an incredible product. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd really help me out if you hit that like button down below and of course hit subscribe if you wanna hear about more Apple and tech news in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you later.